Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we have a special video because I am reviewing my first channel members deck list on the channel live here. If you're not familiar or unaware, you do have the opportunity to click the join button down below and you can email me a deck list once per month and I will review it on the channel just like this. So uh, I do have a new member. His name is Evan. He sent me a deck list and I'm here to review it with you guys and show you guys what I would change. So uh, Evan sent me this Melfi Sprite list. Here, I'll read the email. I plan on taking this deck to regionals in September and want some advice on ratios and what staples to play inside and main. No budget to watch out for. I'm willing to take all advice and pick up whatever cards to improve the list so I can compete at regionals. Okay, so first of all, Evan, thank you for submitting a deck list. I'm going to just go through what you sent me right now. And then I have made a couple changes to the list, uh, at least what I would do, and I will show you that afterwards. Okay, so what you sent me was a sprite melfi list uh we'll go through it three sprite blue three sprite jet two red one carrot two starter one smashers one gamma burst one double cross and that's the sprite package in the main uh then we have two fenrir two angler three beaver one ibli one caddy one penny two thrust one talents three prosperity Three Imperm, three Droll, three Ash, one Monster Reborn. And that would be the main deck. In the extra for the links, we have uh, Sprint, IP, Unicorn, Avramax, and Underworld Goddess. And then we have, uh, for the Exceeds, we have Onibimaru, Soul Sweeper, Mannequin Cat, Zeus, Shadow Mosquito, number two, uh, Joyous Melfis, the Melfi Exceed, the Cat Shark, one Downard and two gigantic and then one herald of the arc light and then in this side we have three evenly matched three dimensional barrier one harpy's feather duster two cosmic cyclone three nib and three gamma seal okay so starting off um i like the list overall um i think it's good uh, but there are a few changes i would make especially preparing for the meta that i expect to see so when I'm making changes, I'm going to think about what do I think I'm going to see the most at regionals, and that is right now Kashtira, Pearly, Branded Variants, Labyrinth, and Combo Variants uh, like Manadium or Infernoble. So uh, a lot of those are kind of hit by the same thing. Um, so starting off, what I you know am hesitant about in the main deck is first of all this Gamma Burst. Uh, I think Gamma Burst is good in Sprite, but it's better in the Sprite version. That plays all the board breakers you know all the three Raigeki, two lightning storm all the tactics cards and all that the blind second decks gamma burst like you want to be going first with your deck and gamma verse is going to be dead and it's really not going to be that good going second either because you don't have enough board breaking capabilities so uh in my version that i'm about to show you i do cut the gamma burst i also need to make some room so i did end up cutting the monster reborn as well and then also uh, i did end up cutting one of the prosperity for a third space just because i really wanted to play a particular um going second card or board breaker card in the main at three so i did need to make some space for that i did keep the sprite red it's up to you if you want to cut the sprite red and keep the monster reborn i think that's about the same uh you know it's just one extender that we're gonna be cutting here uh and then down to the side deck i made quite a few changes to the side deck as well uh first of all nibiru i don't think is worth siding um just i don't think it's worth it over the other cards that are probably going to be better helping you deal with boards and deal with um what you should expect to be seeing the most so uh, i did end up cutting those but i also ended up cutting the evenly matched. I don't think it's that good this format. And I think most places where you would side evenly into, like maybe against Kashtira, you're gonna be just fine going into Zeus instead. Uh, so, you know, you're better off trying to deal with the uh, Arise Heart than to deal with the rest of the board and then going, trying it out in Arise Heart without the battle phase. Um, and then evenly against labyrinth is kind of like it's okay but they'll like usually just flip all their traps and bounce back all their monsters and then resummon them in main phase two so uh it's not that great i'd rather just side into more uh back row removal here and then the gamma seal so this is my personal kind of ignorance maybe gamma seal is specifically for this uh ninja shadow mosquito combo 
but I don't think Kaijus are really that necessary, but we'll see. Um, so let, let me go ahead and show you what I came up with for my list. Uh, I didn't make any changes to the extra deck. I thought the extra deck was uh, just fine. Okay, so uh, what I ended up putting in was three Book of Moon in the main. I, I think this card has to be played at a regional level. Uh, it's too good against Pearly and it's too good against Kashtira not to play. Uh, plus it just trades one for one with an interruption from any of the other decks that you might be seeing. I think that sets up Barone, uh, something that sets up, uh, what's it called, like Gearfried, the in Infernoble uh, and stuff like that. I just think it's, it's too strong, plus it's so good going first as well, just being able to book whatever your opponent summons against Kashtira, it's an auto win sometimes. Uh, even against Pearly, it's extremely good. So, um, yeah, I think Book of Moon has to be main decked. And then let's look down to the side. I even put in three Book of Eclipse in the side. Like, if you're playing against Pearly going second or Kashtira going second, you need six books in your deck. You need to side in those three Eclipses. Uh, and I think that it's going to set you up a lot better than put, having evenly matched against those decks. Like, if you evenly against Pearly... You still lose to Noir, or evenly against uh, Rise Heart, or against Kashira, you still are going to have to deal with a Rise Heart. So, yeah, I think the Book of Eclipse uh, is super important against those decks. Uh, if you are if you don't really know how to use Book of Eclipse against Pearly, uh, make sure you watch Squiddy's video. He talked about Book of Eclipse as a side deck staple this format, and I completely agree. Uh, I added the third Cosmic Cyclone because obviously we cut the evenly matched, so uh, we do need to have a little bit more back row removal. And then I have a third Triple Tactics Thrust in the side deck because this card is just incredible. Uh, going second against so many decks that you really want to see it and then as targets i added in one rageki and one herald of the abyss herald of the abyss is uh incredible if you're already playing thrust uh this is for the pearly matchup it's a one card out to expertly noir uh which is very good uh and you know everyone the thrust is always going to be live i'd rather have three thrust in against pearly um and see two of them then see zero like having this card against pearly is incredible uh especially searching for herald of the abyss here uh so it, it really gets rid of the noir uh and then it lets you kind of push before your battle phase it lets you push in main phase one so that's really strong and because we have a new out to noir i did cut down one of the gamma seals to make that space uh rageki is just good against a lot of matchups i think and if you're already playing uh thrust i think rageki is a solid option you could switch this out for one evenly match to have the evenly match searchable by thrust but i think rageki is just a little something different it doesn't cause you your battle phase it lets you go into zeus after and that's all very good so uh yeah this is what i think this is my opinion on how the deck should look um you know it's don't forget it's your deck uh make whatever changes you think are best but this is what i would do if i was going to play melfi sprite at a regional this format now of course if there's a ban list coming there's a ban list coming out uh and you know the format changes well then maybe this is not as relevant and i'll try to give you an update maybe just in private i'll send you an email what i would update but um yeah i think this is the way to go i think book of moon and eclipse are uh so good right now that we kind of have to play them we kind of have to fit them in um but yeah besides that it's looking great i love the fenders in the main um i love the ibli i think just having a like free win condition is super important i love that the deck can play thrust and has a lot of good targets for it the two thrust one talents is is just fine with me especially because you're already playing zeus so talents taking a rise heart is op uh so that's really nice two prosperity uh is you know is because of me i told you to cut one but i just needed to make room and i don't know prosperity in this deck is it's okay but it's not needed so um i think cutting one of those is just fine and then for the hand traps three imprim three drill three ash i think are the best hand traps of the format and i don't think anything else is worth playing to be honest um 
you know, you could make a case for playing some Bistials in the side deck. I do love Bistials in the side of any deck, uh, but we're just kind of limited on space here. So um, if you are having a change of heart about the Gamma Seals, maybe two Magnumut, uh, maybe cut the Raigeki for another Magnumut as well, or the, thru the third Thrust for a, a you know, third Magnumut. If you can find space for four Bistials, three Magna and one Druist, that would be uh, super nice. But, you know, we have to, we have to pick something. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got for you. Uh, anyone else who wants a decklist review just like this, please consider hitting the join button. Five dollars a month. Send me one decklist a month, and you can, uh, you know, unsubscribe if you just want one decklist review. That's totally fine, and I understand. So, uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys later. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Thanks.